There's a guy who just wanted to say the N word. He's a city councilman. This has been making the rounds on social media. Alabama Democratic Party, uh, Party excuse me, is calling on Tarrant City Councilman John Tommy Bryant to resign after the lawmaker used the N word when referring to a black councilwoman during a council meeting. The whole thing was called on video. Here it is. The N word. I mean, hey, I know I'm black. Hey, do we have? Do we have, do we have a house here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we? Hey, yeah, yeah. do we? <laughs> Would 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 she please stand up? Y'all are seeing this, right, camera? This clown went hard er at a damn council meeting. Okay. Do we have a house? Please stand up. That's what he said. His words. He chose to say this on the record in a council meeting. To a black council woman, he chose to do this. Now, for some of you, you will read the story, and I'm going to give you more context. You will read the story, and you will say, "Oh, he was just reciting what another um, black person has said to him about that council person." Well, first of all, we don't have that on the record. I have mm. no evidence of that whatsoever. All I have is what he said on the record, and all he wanted to do. Is say the N word in front of all those black folks and get away with it. But see, he came to the meeting with his bigotry. Here's more bigotry that is not as popularized from that same meeting. Here it is. If you know anything about the Muslim religion, if you're not a Muslim, their religion says they need to kill you. Do I have the floor or does someone else have the floor? Man, I was talking and someone interrupted me. Could you please say that? And if you and if you read the book, if somebody interrupts, you can have the police removed. First of all, he's totally inaccurate. Of course, the Islamic faith does not teach that. It has variations of expression like any other faith. And Christianity, nobody has killed more hmm. across this planet than in the name of Christianity. I have an entire research, a published research called The Global Effect of Western Religion on Politics, Policy and Government. You can check that out anytime. So he says, if you are Muslim, they have to kill you if you don't believe like they believe. Totally inaccurate, but he came to the council meeting with that kind of racism and religious bigotry already inside of him. So he was already ready to go. The councilman later said, later said he was only repeating what Tarrant Mayor Wayman Newton, the city's first black mayor, called city woman Veronica Freeman. Bryant said there was a difference between his use of the N word and Newton's alleged use of it. He said it in a derogatory manner. I said it so people would know what the mayor said. Brian said the mayor was being derogatory toward Veronica Freeman when he said that. The Alabama Democratic Party urged Brian to resign, calling the lawmaker a racist and unfit to serve. Alabama has still has a long way to go when it comes to race, but cozying up to the KKK, which he has done, and using the N word should make you unfit to serve. Wade Perry, the party's executive director said in the statement, these racists belong in the history books with Bill Connor and George Wallace and not on the taxpayers role. Okay, 100% agree, but you're the Democratic Party. I wanna see what the Republican Party of Alabama had to say. The Alabama Republican Party chairman, John Well said the councilman's behavior is, and I quote, completely unacceptable in any setting. But did not say whether Brian should step down. All just completely unacceptable. We have no place for this, none whatsoever. Should he step down? Oh, uh, no comment. No comment on that. No comment. Uh, Benjamin is in Alabama. He said the N word. Uh, he made up a story about he did it in context of repeating what someone else said. But he's the guy who wanted to say it on the record in front <laughs> of everybody in that council meeting and in front of a camera.
Yeah, he had a little too much emphasis behind that ER for uh, yeah. for my comfort, um, and he should know better. I mean, there there are words that I'm not going to say as a man, um, and he should recognize that there's words that he should not say as a white person. Um, to the context of what he's saying, I know he probably is like, I can't believe I'm going to get in trouble because I came to the the defense of this. Uh, he, in his mind, he came to the defense of this black woman, but you don't come to the defense of of of, of a black person by repeating uh, and putting more power into the N word than a black man having that conversation with another black person. Uh, long story short, stay out of black folks business. It's not for you to be the arbiter of how black people deem another black person. This is how you get yourself in trouble. You should just keep yeah. your mouth shut, man. Yeah, and we deal with facts here. And the fact is we have no evidence of any N word being used between anybody else. Uh, when asked the question about this, uh, the mayor said, listen, the tape speaks for itself. Hmm. All right, the tape speaks for itself. You see exactly what the what the guy did, and we do have context here. He literally had just got finished saying bigoted remarks against Muslim hmm. brothers and sisters um, by misquoting what their faith actually believes. Um, and at the same time, in his white privileged world, he believes that Christianity is pure and holy. Hmm. What Christianity? I mean, come on, I'm a Christian man, but I'm very clear. That Christianity, in the name of Christianity, you have had all kinds of violence happen across this planet and a continuation of violence across this planet in the name of Christianity, in the name of a white male dominated ideological core. Uh, that's why I believe in a radical black Messiah yeah. named Jesus Yahshua.